Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebmaster.com. Today we're going to talk about WordPress workflow. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to automatically update your WordPress plugins. Now, thanks to WordPress 2.7 and recent updates and enhancements, WordPress now offers the ability to automatically upgrade both your plugins and your WordPress installation. So let's talk about how to automatically update your WordPress plugins. Now, as always, you can read the full article at EnlightenedWebmaster.com, where I go into a little more detail and you can follow along step by step more easily. So why should you care? Well, whenever you install plugins, things can get tricky or messy. Sometimes plugins conflict with each other or bugs are found that need to be fixed. Now, thanks to the open nature of WordPress, plugins can be developed rather fast to meet any need or desire. If some new piece of technology comes out and you want to take advantage of it, chances are you can get a plugin built or build it yourself. And because the demand is sometimes so great, the plugin can get released a little bit early and have a few pesky bugs that need to get squashed. Security is yet another reason. When new code comes out, some unscrupulous individuals can take advantage of certain exploits and vulnerabilities inside the code of that plugin. So what this means to you is they can easily take you down and knock your website offline or do other things you probably would rather avoid. Lastly, if the added stability and security was not enough, many of these updates contain new features, enhancements, and workflow improvements, making the plugin that much better. So now you may be asking, well, how does it work? Well, with the Upgrade Automatically feature, when you log into your dashboard, when you scroll down and see the plugin section, you're going to see a number. That means a new update is available for your plugin. All that's left to do is click the button that says Upgrade Automatically, and all is done. Let me go ahead and show you step-by-step -step what I'm talking about. All right, now let's walk through it. First thing you need to do is log into your dashboard, and then you need to look for the section titled Plugins, which is located underneath Appearance, which is under third module. From here, you're going to see a number. And when you see that number, that means you have a certain amount of plugins you need to update. So what you're going to want to do now is scroll down until you see something that gives you this. It says there is a new version of the plugin pack available, and to go ahead and click the Upgrade Automatically button. So after you click the Upgrade Automatically link, next you're going to see a screen which looks similar to the following. Now what you're going to need to do is insert your host name, which is usually your URL, your username, which is what you use to log into your FTP account, and your password, which is the same login and password you would use when you're logging into your FTP. Make sure you have the connection type set to FTP and then click the proceed button. Please make a note that this is not the WordPress login. This is not your regular login that you use to log into your dashboard. It's the one that's used for your FTP. After you click the proceed button, WordPress is going to go ahead and start the upgrade process. Now as you can see, it starts with the download and the update, then it unpacks it, deactivates the old plugin, removes the old version, installs a new version, and then it goes ahead and tries to reactivate the plugin. Now, once you get onto this stage, you need to wait until you see this line right here that says plugin reactivated successfully. The failure to do that could result in your plugin being lost or something bad happening to your site. So you want to make sure you see this line. All right, cool. So now what? Now you need to go ahead and update any of your other plugins that are displaying this notification. Some plugins are not going to be supported by the auto update options, and you'll have to download and update them manually. The way you do this, of course, is by visiting the website, downloading the plugin, decompressing the zip, logging into your FTP to your WP content folder, and then the plugins folder, and then you're going to install it there, overriding the previous version. So, you may be getting an error right about now and you can't accomplish any of this stuff. First, you're going to need to make sure that you got your host name in there right. You might have to play around with this a little bit depending on your service provider. Next, the error you're probably going to be getting is a write error. So in that case, what you need to do is log in to your hosting account via your FTP, browse to your plugin directory, and you're going to have to change modification or do a CHM MOD. You do this by right-clicking the plugins folder and changing the permissions. You can change the permission to 666 or 755. If for whatever reason those two don't work out for you, you need to change it to 777. However, I highly recommend that after you complete this tutorial and I've updated everything, to change the permissions back to what they were previously set at. Meaning each time you need to upgrade your plugins, you need to log into your FTP program, temporarily change the permissions to 777, and then change them back after you update all your plugins to the previous option. Now notice, if you're not experiencing this write error, you do not need to be logging into your FTP program and changing permissions. Only do this if you're experiencing the write error. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. In this training, we went over why you should update your plugins, and you learned step by step exactly how to do this. Now I need you to go ahead and take action and take about five minutes of your time and start upgrading your plugins and getting this part of your website handled. 
Make sure when you're finished to go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know if this helped you and if you'd like to see more workflow oriented videos. If there's anything in particular you want to hear more about, etc., etc. So again, you can read this full article at lightenwebmastery.com. And if you're interested in more workflow oriented videos, you might want to go ahead and check out my new site, wordpressworkflow.com, where I have a complete system that teaches you step by step how to go from coming up with an idea for a site to raking in tons of traffic through SEO, social media, and more. Talk soon.